Oh, hello. Hello. Check one, two. Are we live? Surprise. Hey, hey. What's popping, guys? Outlander Zicky Dice here. Bad news and tattoos. Carly Bravo. I'm, I'm Gordo's in the house as well. Gordizzi, my kneesy. This is episode two of Bad Taste. Oh, I feel so we good. We haven't to be been back. canceled yet, Carly Bravo. No, we have not. And and it feels good. It feels good. I uh, want to thank everybody that tuned in for the first go round. Yes. That was magnificent. People loved it. We yes. love you for loving it. Uh, Shout out to Scooch, who's been breaking down these awesome clips for our TikTok. We're On our YouTube, we've got shorts, we've got reels. Hell, Carly, this, this show is everywhere right now. Everywhere. Everywhere. I'm I mean, I, I, it's platforms that I haven't even heard of. Yes, yes. We have uh, we have Apple Podcasts, uh -huh. right? We have yep. Spotify. We sure do. Right? We have Google Talk. You bet your bottom We have dollar. something called Stitcher. Uh-huh. Um, we have, what else? What's on YouTube? Y YouTube, uh, Obviously, yep. it's on Twitch. Yep. Uh, Carrier Pigeon. Yep. Beeper. Smoke Signal. Smoke Signal. Hey. T-Mobile Sidekicks. Oh, I had I ha I had the Sidekick. You man. had the little Ever flipper? Since the Sidekick, too. I had a Sidekick. My bud... Actually, my friend, his name is Buddy. This is funny. So my buddy, Buddy. Your buddy, Buddy. We got the sidekick, too. We had the T-mail. Right. Uh, my, I remember T-mail. Mine was the... Nick Zappo at tmail.com. That's that's pretty cool. I don't even remember. I think mine was something like Rockstar Nova. Dude, I had a lot of fucking weird aliases back in the day. Back in the crazy. day, that was the first time you could actually receive like nudes on a cell phone. And bro, like, I'm like, not gonna lie, they were like, pixelated like, as hell. Like, like yes, yes, but like, like eight bit. And you know what's crazy? And the screen was big as hell. There was no, there was no private screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you no. get naked pictures in the middle of public. It took like an hour and a half to load and everything. Yeah, and when then it like, loaded, no. and when it loaded, it you couldn't get rid of it for a while, bro. But the good thing about that is, when you show up, like damn, she. Looked exactly like her photo. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was lit. That was lit. And so, yes, episode two, we want to thank all of you guys, to which we call our taste bud. Hey, and we our taste buds. And our Carly, buds. you won't believe this. Tell me. I Tell checked me. the Patreon and we've got our first patron, dude. Oh, my We've goodness. got our first patron. What What is their name? And let's shout them out the proper way. It would be Miss and Only. Is Miss and Only. Patron. Congratulations. Hey, can, we, can we give a clap for Miss and Only? One, that's one. That's the start. Only. You got to start somewhere, you did, people. You and you are, you are the first. And you know what? You know what? I think, I think for her good faith and for having good taste for bad taste, she deserves a prize. I think she well. I mean, that's funny you said that because we were gonna give away some crow last week. Oh, I remember and we that. We asked all you that. had to do was follow Bad Taste. Follow and, us, baby. Uh, I mean, we've got social media. We've got oh, it all. Every, we're on everything. The Bad Taste. We're everywhere. It's Bad Taste. There's no excuse at this yep, point. Bad taste show. And Miss Ann only has won the twenty five dollars worth of crow. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. As well, I guess that pays for your first month of you, being a patron at uh, the Bad Taste Show. Absolutely right. You see, it pays to pay attention. It we, does pay. We told you to follow us, and we. It was going to reward you. And not just that, Carly. Ooh, we, also, we also listen. We've got some good ears. Yes. And you can drop us a line at thebadtasteshow at gmail.com if you've got yes. questions, concerns, or show ideas. I was telling Carly and, and the crew earlier, I think we need to implement some games on the show. Oh, you know, maybe like, you do like a whiteboard and you I tell like me games. what to draw or something. I, like I think that'd be really oh, fun. I have, like a, play, I have, I have a, a game we're going to play a little later today. Oh, okay? And, and I'm going to ask you a couple questions and we're just going to see where the fuck goes. That sounds like bad news. It's going to be the baddest I mean, this, my friend. No pun, no pun intended. But the show wouldn't be possible without our sponsor, Carly. Oh, I love sponsors. How could I forget I Real sponsors. Kind Meds making sure that we bring you bad taste here every week? You can check them out online, and their Instagram is real dash kind meds 420 yep, yep and then i think yep. their twitter is real kind meds 421 One. i might yes yes this backwards yes, but i yes. think i got that right uh real kind meds because the meds are real kind and if you know you know thank you the, the, uh, everyone in the chat who's watching us live on twitch because we are live on twitch every monday night every at monday. 9 p.m eastern unless we are traveling the world like we like we do and we we're are gonna end up world traveling the world we are some world more travelers. and more we are some more travelers but the, ch the chat is enjoying our outfits uh i'm, I'm Thank you very much. I found this oh. Nike hoodie or crew neck. I think it found me a very long time ago. This half pink and purple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I we all fly shit today. It's bait, baby. I, I remember you saying last week you were going to wear it. I wanted to wear the pink. I might wear it again. Now, I, it's ironic that you wore the pink and purple because my decisions were between pink and purple. Uh, ironic or what I do daily. I, ironic? Yeah. I ironic my clothes earlier. That was terrible. You know, I also okay. like to, I'd also like to shout out. Can we get a long shot, please? Because they need to see my sneakers. You know what I'm saying? No, these, these Patrick. Ewing. Yes, yes. All pink, pink sneakers. Shout know, out to Patrick Ewing. Cancer awareness 
Pink Ewings, man. I'm just so proud. I'm so fly. Those are nice. I am I not wearing any shoes. I'm going with the barefoot critters today. I like it. I like you it. You like those? You're looking very uh, Burning Man today. <laughs> Thank I love you. It. Thank you. I feel like I, I am it. Burning Man. Oh, oh okay. You okay. know? Is that I've got a lot of things hell? burning. I, yeah, I am hot the piss ain't burning. Thank it. you. No, the piss ain't burning. There's, <laughs> there's, there's a pill for that. Yeah. burning. There's a pill for that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, there is. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, totally. All right. So, where, where do we got? So, listen. Tell me about your week. It's been a week. We haven't. It's been a week. It's been a very tough week. I'm learning a lot about myself currently like bravo in this I like week that. i am working on myself on the daily yes. and you know I, I i catch myself listening to these motivational youtube shorts they seem to help out i haven't been in the gym in three days you know, because of travel you look work. great though you look great thank you yeah, thank you it's, it, it's the tanning bed tan what you can't tone that's the biggest secret i can i, I don't know it. why it's crazy for some reason i can't put my finger on it but i don't have to tan that's it's that's, wild yeah, yeah, i couldn't it's, quite tell you why it's, it's the tattoos that, that's exactly it's what the it, tattoos. it's the tattoos yeah the tattoos the reason why I don't have the tattoo. Tan. It's bananas. Yes, but it's yes. great to see everyone here in the chat. This weekend, I went and wrestled down in the sticks of Georgia. Mm. Have you been down in the sticks of Georgia? Georgia is sticks, baby. If it ain't Atlanta. Well, I agree. I, that's what I tell people when they when they ask me, "Hey, how's living in Atlanta?" I'm saying, "Okay, well, you have a circle, right? Mm -hmm. That whole circle, you got Atlanta." And then outside the circle, you got Georgia. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you want to go to Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. Georgia's a different type of place. There's so big ass fucking mosquitoes in Georgia. Oh, you you talk about the mosquitoes just oh, there's thinking, a lot of and the flying cockroaches. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. That too. Are yeah. You, are you to NASCAR? Uh, uh, no, uh, no, not at uh, all. I could uh, give a shit about uh, NASCAR too. There. Oh, <laughs> I can't see what <laughs> <laughs> that is also true, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, unfortunately. But, no, no, but tell me, wait, tell me about the sticks. Tell me about the sticks. Tell me about the sticks. Yeah, I wrestled in the sticks of Georgia. I wrestled Scotty Bullwinkle. Mm. Yeah. Yo, Scotty's a good guy. Scotty is a I good like guy. Scotty. He makes tamales. He does? No he, way. Yes, yeah, they're incredible tamales. I've Scotty's had cool. He gave me the shits, but you know what? What doesn't give me what the shits? What tamale doesn't days? give you a shit? I, I agree. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. Okay, so you And then the yesterday, sticks. I stopped by uh, the District Championship Wrestling Show in yes. Atlanta. Shout out, District Champ. We're going to get to them in a second. We are. But when I we are. My Three intermissions, though. My Whoa, God. Brother, listen, that, that was a long Three show. intermissions. That was the longest show on, on, on in history. But it's okay. Three. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, shout out oh, to all my boys. Shout out to Diamond Cheek. Shout out to BGU, B James yes, Ryan. Shout out to I love it. The show was lit. It was, it was lit. And I, invited, I, I saw, I heard the reviews from the first show, right? Yeah, lit. So I thought right. I would invite myself to this show. So I did. Okay. I issued okay. an open challenge. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I, didn't somebody, feel, I, I didn't feel like wrestling last night. You had someone pretty, uh, you had some pretty famous guy coming in and wrestle for you, which is pretty cool, right? Yeah, who the hell, who was that guy? Uh, Cole Carter. Cole yeah, Carter. Yes. Yes. He came out. He did his thing. He represented for you quite well. He looked great. He's fucking yeah. stallion, right? I was, I'm not going to lie to you. That's the first time I've come across Cole yeah, Carter. Yeah, he's good. He's good. I'd, I'd bet two dimes on him. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's really cool. Uh, but I had a good time. I, I brought Gordo with me. Gordo went to the ring. Gordo was a hit. That was his longest day out in public yesterday. He was on the streets. How was he feeling? Great. He finally peed in public. We had an issue with my dog not wanting to pee in public. I remember my first time peeing in public. Me too. <laughs> I, I'll, <laughs> actually, I'll stop that. We won't. We'll just. Uh, we'll I almost, that okay. 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 Well, I almost got caught peeing in public not too long ago. A long Say time word. ago. Say were. You know, yeah, yeah. And I, you know, I really had to go and I could not find a restroom. Like it was one of those moments. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I'm really good at, at pinching it off. Yeah, I'm not a pincher. Once, really? Once, once you go, baby rip, it's ripping. So I told this story once before. Mm -hmm. It just popped up. And I want to bring up a buddy of mine uh, that I came across with in my journey that I call life. Who's that? And this guy, Tim. Tim. And Tim had a, uh, a very special superpower. What was Tim's superpower? Ooh, superpowers. I'm glad that you remember asked. that word. Tim's superpower to that. is that he could, um, he'd start peeing a little bit and he'd pinch it off and he'd hold it and he would charge it up. And I saw Tim shoot over a suburban vehicle with his piss. <laughs> Wait, what? I have seen Tim shit his pants while trying to pressure piss, as he called it. Pressure piss? I've seen him pressure piss to a second story balcony at a word. house party it's pressure pissing pressure yeah. piss he pressure pissed i am still friends with this guy on facebook till this day okay tim the pressure pisser and i messaged him on his birthday okay i commented happy birthday and i said i gotta know i said do you still can you still perform he can said 
all the time. Oh my God. So here he is 20 years later. No, no pressure pissing. Pressure pissing. All over the world. Holy. And shit. I am not lying to you. This was, uh, this is something, it stuck with me for the rest of my life. He could pinch it off and he would charge it up and do this beam that would shoot over a suburban vehicle. You can't even, uh, you can't even, see, the, you can't even see over the top of a suburban car. That, that is, that is phenomenal dick control. You know what I'm saying? Dude. That's fucking, that's money right there. Incredible. Could Incre you imagine, could you imagine going to a fucking I worry carnival? about his pals, yo, though. Yo, could you imagine going to a carnival, a dude walks out, spotlight, lays down into the middle of the fucking tent, and starts pissing fucking <laughs> I would, I would pay 50 streets. cents for that. <laughs> I would pay 50 cents. To, you, you, you also just remind me of a story. My of course I did. My brother and I were maybe like, I'm, I'm maybe like 15 years old. He's maybe 13. We went to the Jersey Shore for the summer to visit. Gotta love family. that place, Jim Town Laundry. And um, they had some of those freak show things, right? Okay. And uh, we saw like the world's largest alligator for like 50, 75 cents. Nice, nice. Uh, we saw whatever other thing. And then we came across one. It was the world's smallest woman. And I didn't have my, my, and, uh, there, <laughs> there was only enough money for one of us to go in. So only, oh, so the other person had to believe without the dude said. Yes. yes. So, okay. So you walk in, like, do you have the little picture, like, you know, 50 cents or a dollar, come see the world's smallest woman. It's like this maze. You walk in, you walk out. Right. So my brother stays at the front and I'm like, I'm going in. You're going, you're you going to take it. You're going to go for it. So I walk in, I could still see my brother and I turn the corner and he's laughing and he's like, how is it? What does she look like? What does she look? What does she look? I need to know. And I turn and looked, and I am not lying to you, Carly Bravo. It was, in fact, the world's smallest woman. No way. Like I, I think they, it's been the one that they, uh, they made documentaries about. So her, like the head was like normal size, and body was like the size of a doll, and it was not funny it was terrifying. it was yeah it was very interesting to see holy shit and my brother's outside the front door laughing you don't know what to say to that and he still hasn't seen what i've seen yeah. i remember this yeah. yeah i remember this like i think he's lucky i wish it was him that walked in that's a lot you know i wish i gave him the dollar and i would have seen his reaction but i'm telling you this was in fact the world's smallest still, woman i've still ever see seen in my you life you'll see her can't you yes that is and she terrifying. did not look happy it was actually kind of sad you know just like well, i don't know i hope that she would say well i mean i i work in the car Carnival too. Let's be honest, but make your money, girl. Mm -mm. That sounds absolutely horrific, terrifying. I mean, I, I contemplated. So <laughs> I had to get a job at some point in my life. You know, when you hit that stage, like yeah, and black families just call fifteen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you got to get one. Once you're old enough to get out of that house, go get your job. Yeah, I was working around then, and uh, <laughs> I I, uh, I call the clown and. Uh, asking if he needed an assistant. You were going to be a clown's assistant? <laughs> yes. So I was like, you know, was like you know what's crazy? That's what I wanted my crazy. first job to be. That's not, that's not as far fetched as I think it would be. You know, and, and so I, I, this is when phone books were around. I, I opened up those. the phone book and I flipped to this clown's number and I called the clown. I said, Hey clown, are you hiring? I'm looking for a job. And he says, kid, I don't make enough money myself to pay the bills. Damn. And I said, fuck, I guess I don't, I can't be a clown. Fucking Arthur Fleck. I know. Yeah, I, man, see? But do you know there is clown schools? There are clown colleges. This is a real thing. You can bro, go to I mean, clown I, school. I, bro, I believe it. I believe that there's clown schools, clown jobs, clown houses. I see clowns every goddamn right, day. You ain't wrong. Yeah, oh, you I ain't wrong. my door, I see a thousand clowns. Dude, yeah, dude, I hear that. You feel clowns that? Everywhere. We got clowns in the chat. Got clowns we got clowns everywhere. We got clowns listening right now. And we're always down to clowns. I'm always down to clown, bro. This blue gelato so, from Real Kind Mint. Which is, is hitting and hitting yeah. all the spots. Hitting all the spots. Know. You know, so listen, I'm gonna tell you, I had a fucking amazing weekend. Uh, yet to please tell me about it. Yes. So what'd you do this weekend? Uh, okay, well, not even just the weekend. Let me start for the week. I had a major accomplishment. There yeah. a fucking accomplishment. Uh, this week, on my second year wrestling, I made the PWI Top 500 Pro Wrestler List. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. It was a big honor. Yeah. Uh, I, I was like 389, but there's like thousands of wrestlers, so Man, there we yeah. are. Hey, we're on first up. year, first year, doing That's my it. thing. Uh, that was big. Yep. I was on the uh, Black Wrestlers Matters list. Top 50, <laughs> top 100, top 50. It was a lot of, I was I was up there. Did I make the list? You you were in the top Puerto Rican wrestlers. Thank you. I saw Thank that. You. And hey, happy Latino month. Happy Thank you. Hispanic yes, Pirates I was month. tagged in some big old uh, you know, uh, Puerto Rican poster or Latino poster. For cool. those that don't know, you know, Zicky is half Puerto Rican. His, his one 
one half of his parents is Puerto Rican. That is true. The other half is a Viking. You know? And so <laughs> Italian, Italian Rican. Italian Rican. But I got this weird red beard. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, totally. Red beard. I used to have red hair when I was younger. But not did you really? Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty gnarly. But enough about that, dude. You're killing it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. I had my first. Uh, Main event show yes, you at did. The District yesterday against my man, Anthony Agogo. I was there in person. Yes. Shout out to District yes. Championship Wrestling once again. Yeah, shout out to you guys. That was shout an incredible guys. match. First main event. How'd it feel? Thank you. Uh, it hurts right now, but at the moment, adrenaline was pushing. It was absolutely fucking amazing. You got down. Are they going to release any of that footage anywhere? Yes, for the it'll world probably be see? on YouTube sometime this week. You know, I can't wait for everybody to watch it. You know, you cut one hell of a promo there. That's what I do. And you got them right, man. You got them right. That was fucking lit. So definitely shout out to that. That's what I do. Didn't and it's, yeah, and speaking of Carly, talk to me, Bubba. Speaking of, talk to me. Buddy. I've had this idea for the longest what of is times, what and is I think it's time if I say it out loud. It's one of those things that we have to bring to life. What is it, buddy? And what I'm looking for, Carly Bravo, is I'm looking for the best mouth in the game. And what I mean is, who who out there is watching that thinks they have the charisma like Carly Bravo and Atlanta Zicky Dice naturally have? I know what you're thinking, Carly. No, 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 not that. I'm looking for the master of the microphone. Oh, I thought you meant who got a nice mouth. Because I can I give think, you a couple of people that got I'm, some I'm mouth. Sure, I'm, sure you could, <laughs> I'm sure you could, Carly. But listen, <laughs> imagine this. Tell me. Imagine that bad taste I puts together this, mouth. this mega contest of source and we get this bad taste trophy with the lips logo yeah, and everything yeah, yeah. could we also still be looking for a good mouth though of course I'm always, always for a good mouth. and then we give away i don't know a thousand dollars cash and love that to to the winner and maybe we do it like on this show weekly where we bring so, in a few of them and they go yeah. head to head and we get to know these people and we look for someone with charisma and we give someone an opportunity so let me put them on the map what are we looking for are we looking for someone who can speak well who has an amazing voice is it people I'm who looking, speak like Morgan Freeman no, can no. You, are you are you good stories are you you just have the it can no, you entertain yeah. us and capture us with your stories it's and your fantastic so much, tales uh, it's not so much the it Carly it's okay. so much of the who no 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 I don't know I don't know how to describe what I'm looking for. I think I'll know when I see it, but I think it's what's inside of me. It's the absolute drive, want, need, must. Yes. Yes. Ish. Yes. Yeah, yes, the desire, the yes. fuel. They gotta fucking oh, want this. They need this fucking. Shit. And it, I'll tell you this: that person, Carly Brown. Yeah, oh, yeah. Will win the thousand dollars cash. That thousand dollars, and I'm sure a lot of people or can do a lot bro. of things with thousand dollars. It's fucking inflation these days. A thousand dollars going a lot of fucking places. Yeah, you know? they gotta have good oral skills, and that's part of the game. Oh, and I think if we host language. something like that, we <laughs> oh, excuse me, yeah, yeah. it's something we can do annually. Yeah, yeah. I love meeting people with good oral skills. <laughs> I love meeting them annually. So so that that fucking annually and fucking annually. So it, there's that too. Yeah, I, I don't know what you're saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to. I'm just gonna. What? We can edit this out. Oh, we're live. Got live. Oh, oh no. Yeah, we know what we're saying. I know what I'm saying. Show me money. I was talking a story about Glen Edge. Oh, this is what I was gonna tell you earlier. Tell me, buddy. Remember when I asked you what kind of friend you were earlier? What, yeah, the, what was that about? You just asked me what kind of. You just said that you found out what kind but what, of. But what did I ask you? You asked me what kind. It's just so you told. I don't me. remember what it was, so you I'm actually you, reaching. You told me anyone that. here. You told oh, me oh, 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 yes. You told me yes, yes. I remember now. <laughs> I remember now. You told me and said I wasn't a good friend, but then you realized that I'm a fucking great friend. That's <laughs> you right. You me, so. That's right. Yeah, damn it. Okay, so, well, let me tell you about a better friend than you, Carly Bravo. Who, Woody the fucking cowboy? No, but he's here right now in the chat, and I want everyone who, to know. Who, who is that, man? Well, I'm not going to say his name to protect the safety of his and others, but there was one time in my life, Carly Bravo, that I had hemorrhoids. Have you ever had hemorrhoids? No, but someone in there wrote Southeast Throat, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punch them in the mouth. <laughs> what is that? What is that? The chat, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to slap the shit out of Darian. <laughs> That's Darian in the chat. <laughs> right in Southeast Throat. <laughs> what the hell was I just talking about? You were talking about your friend in the chat. Oh, yeah. And then I looked to the chat. And I saw hemorrhoids, the hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. Have you ever had a hemorrhoid? Seriously. Have I ever had a hemorrhoid? Tell me the truth. Uh, no. Really? Never Congratulations. You've I've never had a hemorrhoid. Oh brother, I've got I've got we call them hemi supercharged when they come around. Oh shit. Once you get hemorrhoids, they come around and you're it looks like a it's like a, a grape or a peanut on the outside of your asshole. Okay, so maybe I have had one or two.
Okay. Okay. So okay. maybe well, now, maybe okay, I know okay. maybe, maybe I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, well, now that we got that out of the way. Okay, let's get it out of the okay, way. Now that All right. Cool. A good friend of mine was right there when I got my first hemorrhoid. Oh, that's and, a real friend. And there was a pain, and like I went to the doctor's office, and the doctor he said, "What are you here for?" And I said, "I think I have a hemorrhoid." And he's like, well, "Pull down your pants and let me see," which means you got to pull down your pants. You got to spread doctor. them. You got to show me your balloon knot you right gotta, here, right now. You, yeah, yeah. So I fucking. I pulled down the pants and I spread it. And he, the doctor goes, "Yep, that's a hemorrhoid." Oh. And I'm freaking. I'm like, "Oh God, how did I get this? Is it contagious?" Oh. I should have wore a condom. You know, like that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, but I realized, you know, I call my mother, my Puerto Rican mother, bless her heart, and I call her. And I said, "Mom, I got a hemorrhoid." She says, "Oh, me, he'll go to the CVS. They have a cream." Yeah. You know, but you got to put the cream up your ass, Carly. Wow. I wasn't going to put that cream up my ass myself. Oh, no. So I asked my buddy Glenn, who was there, if he would help me out with this one. Did your friend smack <laughs> on your fucking hemorrhoids, bro? He grabbed the sandwich bag, like the, like the, you put the peanut butter and jelly in, you know, because <laughs> we didn't have no gloves. And he put the Preparation H bottle in his hand and, he, and he, he penetrated me with it, Carly, and he squeezed the cream in my ass and he helped me with the hemorrhoids. This is a true story. And that's why I uh, yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> the kind of friend when I say jump Carly, I mean how high that oh. is. That's right. If I have a hemorrhoid, hey, yo, sorry, prepared, look, 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 right, yeah. I tried to put the bottle in my own ass. I really freaking did, Carly. I tried. Bro. I tried, dude. Bro, I, I tried. I want you to try. I want you to go ahead right bro, here, right now. Bro, try and put a bottle of preparation H in your own asshole right now. I'll be honest with you, I'll pray that I'd never have to do that. <laughs> Me too. I, bro, seen the I hope I'm, I hope I hit preparation A and all well, through E before I gotta get to fucking preparation <laughs> H and put my fucking bottle bro, of my ass, bro. I'm good, bro. Dude. That's uh that's a real friend though. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm, yes, yeah, but, I mean I was freaking out. I mean we laugh about it now, but, but like, come on, and I, I say this time and time again, like on the shit that we did growing up, like that was on the that was a Sunday afternoon. We just got home from church maybe when that happened. I'll be honest with you, I've done a lot of things, but on a Sunday afternoon I wasn't Oh, well, bro, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, preparation H in my home. We grew, up on, we grew up on Jackass, and a lot of us, you know, back in the day, we were all straight edge. So we had to do other wild things to entertain and What's pop straight each other. What is, for those that don't know, what is, what is straight edge? No drugs, no drinking, no promiscuous sex is what it was. And, and, and shout out to them, Glenn is so straight edge and all those. But we had to. Basically, a born again Christian. <laughs> Margo, this is a quote. I tried to put the whole bottle in my ass. Outlandish sticky dice. That's a bumper sticker. We could sell it at the gas station. I will not be a part of that. I tried to put These are true stories. This is bad taste. Okay. Yeah, I didn't okay. say you had to listen to the you show. You told me to put a pepper For me, this is like this is like free therapy. No, I said if you ever have to. Would I you do it? Would you would you would you preparation H me, bro? Yes. That's Without a question. Why not do it like this? Listen. Carly Bravo, I worked in home care for 13 years. I mastered changing the diaper and cleaning someone up without gloves, buddy. I'm, I'm good to sure. go. I've never changed a grown man before, but. No issue. It does not faze me. I've done it 101 million times, buddy. Cool. Well, at least I know I got a friend for that department. You know how you, you got like, like people that you know, like, if I need this, I got this guy. If I got this, I got this guy. I know if shit ever get real and. Like, if you broke your hands right now and you went to the bathroom, like, I got a shit in your, yo, Zicky. I would. Zicky. I'll come in and say, yo, what's up? I'm going to grab the fucking baby rice real quick. Sha, 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 sha. Leave out of there, bro. Nice and, you had, and your ass be fucking listening. <laughs> Bling, 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 bling. That's right. a nice touch. Yo, That's, right. Hey, That's free, right. Props, man. Props. I'm, I'm on the other side of things. If you ever need to like hide a body or do something like that, you can holla at me. Outlandish. You know? Out fucking landish. Outlandish. But you know, oh, but yeah, totally, totally. It's good to have friends like you. Speaking of, and that that would be a crazy movie. That'd be a crazy movie. A dude loses his hands or something like that, and his friend has to fucking <laughs> preparation H him, wipe his ass, H him for a and live with them. That's some wild shit. Bro. See, and speaking of movies, like, like. Fuck James R Franco and fuck Seth Rogen. They're they're done. We, that they're looking for something new. Uh, and this is this is it. Yeah. This is us. They're watching and they're listening. Oh, we need totally. a movie, Carly. We do need a movie. Yeah. I, speaking of movie, God, I saw a really good movie this happen? week. I saw a movie this week. Uh, I saw a movie called Moonfall. 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 It, oh wait, is that the one about the meteor or some shit? Not about the moon. About oh, the moon, yeah. and they basically say that the moon was a big fabricated. It's a big shell with a dying star in it, and and we our humans was around back in the day, and it's just a fucking wild ass shit. But had me thinking about our, our fucking aliens question from last week. What was you the know? question from you last just asked week? Me if I, I believe in aliens, and you remember that? You remember yeah, you, you, you in your mind. 
Uh, I just think I just think that it's I just think it's it, it's too much of a possibility for all the space, all the time, and that stuff that's in space for us not to have aliens. Out Thank there. you. You see what one week and some thinking can do, people. Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. I appreciate that. That was real, you know. Um, I what that. is what is? I like movies. You a movie guy? I like movies. Yeah. Are you like Are you like a movie person? Are you, you fuck with movies? Or are you just like? Well, like I'm very picky now. Like I'll watch some some B movies, and sometimes you get a good B movie, but like. Yeah, I enjoy movies. Do favorite? I have the time for a movie? What's my favorite movie? Favorite genre of movie? Uh, I like like uh, like some good good heartstring movies. The yank on your heartstrings. Like, I don't know. I also like, like, like I also like a good twist. No, not like a rom com. Like uh, <clears throat> like Seven Pounds. I love Seven Pounds. Seven like, Pounds was a that's great. Wow. Like, I love I've that. Heard movie. anybody say that before? That was a crazy. Movie. Like I like the whole thing. You know, like the whole it's it's deep. I like shit like that. Uh, Out of all the Will Smith movies, that was my yeah. Least dude, Seven Pounds is one of my absolute favorites. Sad as shit. Like or the movie The Cure. You ever seen the movie The Cure? Uh, it sounds like a movie I didn't see. No. It's about uh, there's two little boys. One of them has AIDS. The little boy and the other one that lives across the fence is like a jerk. But they become friends friends and the kid wants to help the little kid like find a cure for AIDS so they like find this magazine that there's this doctor and wherever as they make this boat and they try to float down they end up getting in trouble and the kid gets really sick and he dies unfortunately it's very sad um, but the kid who is an asshole his whole life changes and he becomes like real close with the other kid's mother it's a great movie sounds one like of my a, favorites sounds like a lifetime <laughs> one of my, and I, I love lifetime movies I like what? I love emotion man That's I'm an emotional I salesman I side of that fence I love things in life whatever it is art or whatever if it makes me feel something I, I like, like to feel yeah total opposite I don't want to feel shit I, I know like, like earlier we were I want things that want to make me go boom I like fucking I Die that. Hard and Terminator Why? Well, yeah <laughs> yeah I, <laughs> Yeah. Like I, mean, I enjoy I want, those I want, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we were listening to some song that was on. It was like vibing and all flowing. Oh, like oh, even mind me, you're all. And I said like at the same too. time, I was like, "Yo, what is the thing? Y'all, what is this? Everything so blurry." No, okay. And I, I said earlier, we were I, fucking I in it. the motions. I, I showed that earlier. Yes, <laughs> that blurry song by Puddle of Mud is the. Is the, a banger for that, one. That okay. song, that song is for all the trouble. It's people the only about. banger that they that I know from them that need it. Can't it. take it away. Like, that nigga is angry. You know, yeah. He wants you to take it away. You know, but it, I we, mean, it was a banger. It was we angsty. Some weird shit today. Uh, no, we listened to some good music. We did. We did. Which, uh, all right. So okay, 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 okay. Fly ass question. Ready? Uh -oh. You can go to any concert. Right, any concert to any band that are alive, one night only. Right, one night only. Okay, who are you? Who and you're in the front fucking row. The Cranberries. Really? Yeah. Say word. Yeah. That's the fucking Cranberries. That's lit. And I thought I was gonna be able to see them before she had passed away, but no. That's a good answer. No. The Cranberries okay. would have been so sick. That would. Be I have a different question for you. This Tell is me. a favorite question of mine, and everyone listening right now. Here we if go. you could. If you, for one set, you've yeah. got an hour and a half set, sold out crowd. Yeah. yeah. What instrument are you playing and what band are you playing with for the whole night? Like you're, you're like you're and in I, the band. I know it. Like, I know the yeah, shit. Yeah. I Do you know, know like, it, like you're it. you're that dude or you're that person for the night. Like any artist, like who are you? Oh, and like, you it's know, really between two bands. It's really between two bands. This is a very hard question. I can only pick one. Can I give you two? You can give two. I can give two. My two answers are Nirvana. Really? Nigga, what? <laughs> what, Whoa. bro? Bro, what? You know, they're, kind of, boy, what? Could you just imagine being on stage and performing Smells Like Teen Spirit or Lithium? Yeah, I mean, that would be a yeah, big, big old packed like, out like, show. Oh, Jesus. That would be uh, pretty dope. And the last, I would, I would want to be on stage with, I'm going to say, we said bands, right? Not rappers. It can be, like yeah. It can be anyone. It can be a rapper. It can That's be a hard question, bro. Yeah. Like, but you got to, but you really got to close your eyes and think is like, what songs make you really freaking move? What do you really feel that if you that crowd was there, that energy, they're no, all thinking listen, your shit, listen. they're jumping up on their feet, their your banger is coming last. They all know it, and you know you're gonna be standing up there like. No, yeah, for one would definitely be Nirvana. For one would definitely be Smells Like Teen Spirit and Nirvana. The second one, without a question, would be... Uh, I want to say fucking Queen. 
Really? Yes. Oh, could that, you imagine? I did watch. Well, no, no I see the Rite Aid stuff, right? Like, Dude, like live watch, back in the day. Like yes, that. live watching, going back and watching live Queen and they just performed, the feed they performed of people. millions in front of a million people. Yeah, yes, you know, yes, yeah, like, like, like feed. Now listen, now listen. Imagine, imagine. They got speakers upon speakers eyes. upon yes. speakers, and, and they can go rose back and hearing fucking another one bites the dust. That would be my last song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like another one bites the dust would be the song that fucking yeah. I would close my eyes and fucking we were going all in bro you know what, what about you what about oh, man. you i think uh it's a tough question I haven't, you got two about, bands. I haven't thought about this in a while but one would have to be like gotta play like bass in the death tones or something dude that's fucking something slick. sick you know that's slick and then the other i don't know dude maybe like it's gotta be it's, i don't know i, I like i want to say like the Goo Goo Dolls or something. And I don't want the yeah. world to see me. Iris is my, that's my winning song, but the, was it I really? Got, I got a female Fucking version saying my, I, I got a song that version. It's saying it, it's super slow. It's, it's a, yeah, one of my favorite songs of all time. That song was fucking, that song was, that was the fucking anthem for a while. It's a banger, dude. You know, you know what else I would have loved to be around? I would have loved to have been on stage in 1999 when Juvenile performed back that thing up. Brother, don't Could even you hear me. Oh, have imagined. Let me tell that. you the things I've imagined to juveniles back that thing of music. You know video. what? Maybe you shouldn't just for just for where we're at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sponsors. Yeah. Which, <laughs> thank you guys for all the fucking work you do. We love you. Mm. You know, yeah. But totally, that's another one. You know, that would be a big. Okay, okay. That, that would was, be pretty dope. That would be a good one. Um, I would love to have gone to. I would. Love, I'm trying to think of like a fucking. A fucking phenomenal time in music that was just like, dude, anything in the 80s. Like, do you think I picture like what I've been in nylon up on the streets dancing or what I have long hair metal and being a band? I don't know because I, I like the both of both, the, uh, both of those worlds. Yeah, I would have. So I'm torn yeah. to see what I would really be. I would have had an all Adidas outfit on with a couple Not gold me. chains and a mouthful of gold teeth. I mean, we will never, places, you, you will never catch me in anything Adidas ever in my life. Never. No, I'm maybe not anymore. Guy. Nah, I, well, not anymore. You know, shot to Kanye. Guy. We got you. You know, but yeah, I, I what Adidas was Run DMC. You know, that was that was that was uh, the yeah, flavor. I understand. You know, that was the flavor. You a Nike guy though? I feel yes. Like, I was, you, I, you know, you I, know, was that like it was Bloods and Crips? My nigga was like, I, I, I never I, wear an Adidas. Like, oh, I had this like, weird. Damn, was like, oh, I had this weird thing. Like, I don't know. And if I'm ever wearing a Nike hoodie, I would never wear Adidas shoes. You know, I would never mix and match ever in my uh, life. Oh, you're not supposed to do that. No, I, not, yeah, I know that. These rule. New, so, kids, these new people, kids, no, these new oh. kids, these young kids, they do that now. Fashion has dramatically changed. Speaking of fashion, we look phenomenal. I'm wearing twelve dollars sweats from Costco in this awesome Nike hoodie, but that's just how I do. Come and you, and, and it just happens to match that fantastic fucking tie dye head fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was going to put a beanie on earlier. I thought I'd get you know at least dress up for bad taste. We do this weekly. I mean, live on yeah. Twitch. Yeah, okay? yeah. I and the question the replay and everyone we got to do a, a TikTok contest. Maybe maybe we can ask the people listening who can come up with the best kind of TikTok contest that we yeah. can implement for these, these I would love people. to do a TikTok contest. For those of you that don't know, <clears throat> I joined TikTok this week. You know, I haven't been on the TikTok train the whole time that it's been around. I think it's been around for like 100 years and I just joined it. So, you'll be seeing me on there dancing and doing my little jive gyrations and jiggaboo stuff. It'll be freaking wonderful, you know. Uh what else do we got? Oh, oh we have oh. crumble cookies. We do have crumble cookies. And I have, I think if you eat an, a dried anchovy, I can eat a crumble cookie. You want me to eat a what? A dried anchovy. I have dried anchovies right here. Why do you have dried, dried, dried it's anchovies? It's a good nice snack. I picked it up from the Costco. You ever been to the Costco? I've been to Costco a hundred times. I love that place. You ever get the Costco. churros? Huh? You ever get the churros? $100, $1.50, baby. Yeah, I love those. I can eat a hundred of those. Those are delicious. <laughs> I wish I... Me too. I like I churros. churros. I like Oreos. That's my snack of choice. I'm an Oreo and milk guy. I like Oreos too. Did yeah. you know Oreo pulled... So no other brand can release anything Oreo now. Like there's only Oreo... Like ice cream is made by Oreo now. And the Oreo... Oreo don't fuck with no one else no more. Yeah, Oreo is gangster. They're the best thing ever. They, they smartened up. They said, "Oh, you thought you were, you thought you'd be cool with a few little cookie crumbles, Well, now we run the game again." Oreo has has had, held it down for a long time. I love Oreo. Like, okay, the most stuffed is incredible. I saw this fake video of just it was just a cookie that just came with the bucket of the cream. Like, give me that shit, you know? Yo, I just want to say uh, to you guys that don't know, Gordo is off screen 
snoozing like the cutest thing you've ever seen. And yeah, he is. Snoring. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my time. Gordon's laying there snoring. He is. It's precious. Laying precious. all up on Darian Bates. Shout out to our co-host and shout out to the mad scooch. You know, we Dude, shout out to everyone. Shout out to my friends lately. Been holding it down. I've been uh, kicking out lately, having a rough time. And shout out to my friends being there. It's great to be here. Oh man, Again, we, we this appreciate you, with my peoples. We appreciate you guys, the taste buds. You know, the taste buds. Everyone listening, the following, the support we've gotten in just a week. Like we're trying to get the show rock and roll. I said earlier, the goal is to have a badass studio. Maybe this yeah. like yeah. media company in this umbrella, and that's why like there's growth. And usually, I'm, I'm more prepared for for these situations. But next week, next week, I, I'm, I'm 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 bringing something special to the table. I don't know what that is just yet. So don't ask. Ooh. Don't ask. I like special. But we're, we're like, going to be turning it up, and I'm looking for some crowd support, Carly. Like We've support. got the emails. We've got the social yeah, media. That's yeah, another we reminder. We need you guys. We've got our awesome sponsor, yes. our Real Kind Meds, Real kind that meds. we can always we're reach out to here. for more ideas. Yep, yep. And we've also got a fine, fine so, message from someone today. Of course, like we do every single week, every right? Single every week. single week. It is time, not for our corner, but oh, hate Hogan. Oh, God. What do we got this Hayden week? Hogan stunt marshal himself. Did we screen it? I did not screen it again this I, week. I Disclaimer. This week. I didn't see it For this week. For fuck's sake. If, 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 if stunt says it, it's on stunt. <laughs> All, right, on. All right. Let's go. Gordo's back. Hold on. Before we go. Here, Gordo. Gordizzi, my kneesy. Come here, Gordo. Cheesy Gordizzi crunch. Oh, oh, hey, guys. So we have some clap emojis for my boy Gordo. Gordo is back. Looking beautiful. Blue eyed Billy. All right. Here we go. Let's see what hate has to say. What? Hate. Yeah. Oh, damn. Hate being out here. Oh. Hate. You know what? Yeah, this is crazy. I hate when this I'm is bananas. Why is he outside? His arms look back. He, he's homeless. He's really right been to the gym. Side of the aisle. He's and clearly been to the gym. Behold, someone comes okay, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Can we, uh, oh, we're finally, finally getting in. Finally getting in. All right, awesome, awesome. What's the big hate got to say? I don't know about y'all, but in my head, I'm thinking, they had all this time to see me. I should rain down blows upon them. I hope they have good insurance because oh. they're going to need Jake when I'm oh. done because I'm going to whoop both they asses. But, Hold on. you know, I played it cool. The spider's going to get them? Not the spiders, dude. Do you know what spiders are? What are spiders, bro? <laughs> you said that like that was so it's, wild. It's when you... Uh, sorry, I was preparing myself for what I'm about to tell you. What are spiders? It's when you know the fur between your, your balls and your butthole like down in your gooch. It's when you yank those out and you just... Still <laughs> y'all, y'all, anybody else in the room knew that? <laughs> y'all knew that's what that was called? Those spiders. are spiders. Yeah, the, the hairs. I thought that was just called gooch hair. Yeah, no, well... That's that's when it's attached to your gooch when you pull it out in a batch. It looks like I would a never long legs. So I would know that you're 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 lucky. Oh man, that's you're freaking lucky. phenomenal. That's freaking. Oh, we phenomenal. had some audio issues. Did it... I think they heard it. Maybe though. maybe that was. You guys. They heard, heard it? it. You guys heard it. Yeah. That's okay. They say, damn it. So what happened was, what happened was, in our fucking high tech wonderland over here, you know, we couldn't hear stunt because he's outside in another dimension <laughs> on some shit, you know. So our live camera feed got a little busted and we couldn't hear it, but y'all heard it. So I guess when we go back and we watch this, we'll hear stunts fucking. There was an echo. We'll the week. To, I, I, I heard a hate in the air. I heard a fake. They like, heard our hey. comments. Damn it. Yeah. Damn you know, it. There was a lot of hate. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's on LSD. That would be phenomenal. Does that make sense? Yeah, a, a large screen digital television. Are you going to eat these sardines or what? I tried to get out of it. I tried to steer you away from it, but I do not mind. Okay, listen, you guys want to see me eat some sardines? I'll eat one it. of these sardines. Just give it a whirl. All right, let's go. I'm going to eat a sardine, guys. There we go. I don't meantime. really want to do this, to be honest with you guys. Just eat the damn... They're dried sardines that I got from Costco. They're an incredible little snack. I just eat one. I know. Don't smell them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Oh, that's... In the meantime, I'll tell you what I'm teaching Gordo. I'm teaching Gordo the bang trick. Did I tell you that? He's gotten better. I, sh I do a little gun oh, thing. I'll have to show damn. you here in a second. Oh, damn. Okay. So he lays down on the ground. So okay. cute. Little baby. King alien. Pink said these aren't that bad. Thanks, King Pink. Okay. Picture King Pink's feet in there in the bag grabbing them. Just eat them. <laughs> These are ready to eat, and I want I want people to see this nonsense real quick because yeah, those are look at this. This is ready to eat anchovies. Right? I've got a 
I've got a bag of them. It's a pretty big bag. I don't even know why he has these. He wants me to eat them. Even 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 uh Gordo's crushing it. Psychedelic, you can definitely have some Diet Coke. It's my favorite. I have oh this one's empty. Okay. I'm so mad about this. Just eat the goddamn thing so we can talk about something else and move on. Oh my god, part. Yeah, it, yeah, it's dried anchovy. What do you think? <laughs> it has a weird little sweet taste, doesn't it? Mm. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. That's bad taste. Mm. You didn't like it. I think we made this a segment every week. We have a, we have a P.O. box now. Oh I didn't put the aggro oh thing yet. Oh my gosh, bro. That's Dez in her hat. Why, so why is it so crunchy and hard? Oh. It's a dried anchovy. Oh, I was, oh, that was disgusting, bro. Really? I enjoy them. I can only eat them in a batch, though, because it's a weird little aftertaste. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for eating that. I know that was probably your either. You're like a teary eye. I was upset about that. Are you teary no, that was real. I'm not I'm not gonna say no to the, to something, but no. Weird little sweet bad taste. We gotta get the P.O. box and maybe we'll have the fans send us something in that's packaged. All right, so listen, this has gotta be it's fair, packaged, right? yeah. It's gotta be fair because well, I don't want them no, hiding no, no, dog no, no, shit. No, 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 no. I eat dog shit on the street. You eat some wild shit, bro. Every time we go to Zick, Zicky put me on Korean barbecue. Zicky, and that was a, that was a blessing because that opened up to eating mad shit at one time, right? So he'd be wanting to take us to Korean barbecue spots that be having fucking uh that be having fucking tongue on there and fucking that's stomachs on there and squids with heads good, on there good protein. and fucking and tails on there and beef feet knuckles. on there beef knuckles <laughs> you know what I'm saying like moose knuckle you know what I'm saying but like oh, what that. are we supposed to do like come on bro that's disgusting bro that's and, and, so he, and I saw him what was you eating the other day what was you eating the other day when you were starting to do the carnivore diet you brought something that looked like pig brain down here oh what, I, I brought down the tripe what was tripe the beef stomach lining I was just eating it by itself why because it's it's high in protein, low in fat, and and it's got some good vitamins in it. Carly Bravo, you want a protein shake? No, high it, protein. tripe is awesome. See, they understand it's it's incredible. It's good stuff. I like uh, uh, tendons. You ever had tendons? No, I never had tendons, bro. See, that's incredible. There's so much regular food to eat out here. I don't got to. you're dude. And stuff remember, okay, okay. Chinese black market. All right, for crying. No, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let's rewind. You have this motherfucker right here. Hold on. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this motherfucker right here. <laughs> When was the first time you had a Poke Bowl? No, and it was three months ago, bro. <laughs> you said you never had this in your life. Your whole world was changed. Hey, bro, you know what's crazy? I'll be real with you. I've eaten a Poke Bowl every week ever since. You see? I'll be fucking Poke Bowls up because you of y'all. That's real. I told, yeah, I told D that. That's funny as hell. You see? Yeah, and, that's true. Yeah, I know you don't put the fish shades. I'm all y'all, y'all. It was a little orange shades. I said, I said, oh, those are fish shades. And your face just said. Oh no, yeah, I don't do fish. No, game. that's not me. So I'm good on that, bro. I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight on that. I, but you got to explore a little bit. So I've eaten. This is probably I one of the like worst things I've ever teeth. eaten. I'm so mad at you. I went to this barbecue, and you know, and like, you ever been in a situation where you show up and like peer pressure? You got to do what's being asked. Yeah, of course. What, what kind of situation was this? One of those. They brought out the squirrel, and they like no one wanted to eat the squirrel, and I, and I had to eat. I wouldn't eat squirrel. My brother. I ate some of the squirrel, and it was all fat, and the meat's all dried up. I had an ostrich burger. I, I have. I, I don't know if I've had ostrich. Me and my buddy Mays, he took me to a place in South and uh, South and San Diego, rather. We was in San Diego, and I had a boar. I had boar meat that was lit. I, I love pig's feet. That is one thing I do love. You've had. Uh, you ever had venison? Uh, yes, okay. yes, okay. yes. Okay. okay, you've had bison. Yes. Would you eat rattlesnake or snake? I would try it. I don't like. I don't snakes. know if I would. I don't like snakes either. I don't know if I try. It. I would eat. I would. I would try. They've had squirrel. Squirrel wasn't that bad. Squirrel though. is just. It just seems. Just. It just seems. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it just doesn't put a good visual in my head. You know. So it I didn't. Try, it, like, it, it looks exactly what you think. Know. Imagine a barbecue squirrel. Me gets strong. No, I'm, I'm good on that. <laughs> yes, but I that. enjoy that I stuff. Just, I'm I down for any West meat. Virginia in my mind when I eat it. I think explore meat. Uh, you know, know what I've been craving? Oxtail. Like I want to fuck up, bro. I like, told you I know where to get the oxtails out here, bro. In Atlanta, they got. Now them, I don't think bro. I don't think you heard me right. I'm talking about like we hire them for the day. Like I want a bucket. Like I want to go until I say no more. Um, you want all you can eat oxtail? Like there was this place where I used to live in California. Once a month, at the end of the month, they had all you can slap manudo, dude. 
Uh, what's You're, that? Right, manudo the soup. It's like, with no. the, check out the stomach and stuff. Let's go have some manudo. I won't tell you what's in it. Let's just go eat it. Mm. It's good, good you lost me. No, nope, hold on. Hold on. You lost me. The moment you said, I won't tell you what, what's in it, you instantly lost me. That's when you decided. That oh, you didn't come on. Oh, well. You got to try it first. That's just not something we're going to get freaked out. The tripe is in there. There's some tripe. Yo, you eat. Listen, bro. I've learned my lesson with going to eat with you, bro. You eat some of the wildest shit, bro. Dude, and you know, it's not the Ricky Martin maneuver. I know. I know. And, and I've learned that. I've, uh, <laughs> there was a friend once that I brought to Korean barbecue with me. It was his first time. And I was like, I got this order. I was like, can I get the intestines and then this and the, uh, the tongue and my homie's eyes lit up. He's like, yo, wait, 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 don't can I order something else? So I understand that I go for the extreme, but that's what I love. I've tried everything, every place that we've ever gone. I've tried everything that you've ever asked me to try. You know, including this bullshit you just put me on just now. And you loved everything since. I did not love this. <laughs> that was a lie. Um, but I will say, I will say you have not steered me wrong. So I will continue to go on this f magical food journey with you. But some of the shit I'm definitely just going to say no to. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not eating like bull nuts and stuff like that. You would eat that. Like bull testicles. I think, I, yeah, I've had that before. Mountain really? oysters. What's it yeah. called? It's Mountain oysters. oysters. There's a word for it. Um, Mountain oh, oh, oysters. Oh. Say it again. Mountain oysters. Mountain oysters. Some shit like that. Yeah. There's another term I heard people use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain oysters. That's what they are. Yeah. So if you ever go somewhere, you see Rocky Mountain oysters. Those are bull those nuts. Are Big old bull nuts. All right, bro. Let me ask you a question. You said something earlier. I want to jump back to. What? You mentioned this. You mentioned the word superhero with your friend, right? And you said that he could fucking pressure piss. Right, yeah. that we called it pressure pissing. Okay, so if, if I was you Pokemon, I'd be Squirtle because I have the runs all the time. Is that what you're asking? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. that's not where I was going with uh, that, son. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where? Okay, so my question to you was: If you could have a superpower, yeah. what would your fucking superpower be? But you just called yourself Squirtle. No, um, no. I mean, I'm not checking my different. phone name, if Squirtle. I had, if I had, uh, shit, if I had a superpower, what would it be? I don't want no smoke. It would be, uh, damn, I don't know. I don't know. That, that changes. It used to be like, you know, go invisible or fly. Do you really want those things? I used to want to fly until I saw this movie where the kids were flying and they realized it was freezing up, up there. I think probably, I think I might yeah. want the power like, Professor X, dude. You want to read people's minds? Yeah, like mind control, maybe. Yeah, that's not cool. That's okay. not mind control, but read. I don't put, know if I want those problems. Put him on the, on the watch list. I don't know if I want those either. Okay. okay. I don't know. Maybe I just stick with invisible. Invisibility? I don't know. That sucks too, right? No, that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad. Or I like, I know, although I hate Nicolas Cage, sneaky, I like that movie uh, Next. You know when you can only see like 30 seconds in the future? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But it's only 30 seconds. I want to be able to control the elements like a fucking avatar, bro. Yeah. I want to be able to control fire and water. And like air. Earth. And, yeah. Wind and fire. Fucking Captain Planet. What about girth, wind, and fire? That's the name of, of a fucking... That's the name of a fucking... That's the name of a college band. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Girth, wind, and fire. God damn it, You know what I'm saying? They, they sing naked and they only do earth, wind, and fire cover band songs. <laughs> that would be fucking lit. Girth, wind, and fire. If not, we should do that. Don't know what we're right. trademarking that. Is that what we should do? I think maybe when we hit, we'll set that for a Patreon goal. When we get 500 patrons, we'll do a cover band, a Girth Wind of Fire. Girth Wind of Fire, we'll yes. Do a fake song or fake yes. music video or something. Yes, you hear that? Take we, it right now, we have the, one patron. We have one patron. Yeah, we, we need more. We got the link right there. All of our more. links are right there. All Exclamation of them. y'all check them out. You know what I'm saying? Podcast. We're on, like I said, go on there, rate the podcast. Yes. Yes. We're doing this every single week. And it's fucking Coming out here to up. bullshit, unwind. It's get, blowing get up. Get set up for your you week. Know? Motivate your goddamn self. It's, tomorrow, it's I got to. Yeah. I got to get up and get my ass to the fucking gym tomorrow. This Thursday, I'm going to Connecticut. You know who I put on the guest list? Ken Kniff from Connecticut. Ken Kniff from Connecticut. Mm, He's yeah. on the damn show. I'm wrestling okay. for best trivia ever. Yeah, you guys remember Joy Janelle is going to be on the show. Ken Steiner. Kniff. Nick Ken Kniff. Ken Kniff. Dude, the show, best trivia ever, is thrown on Thursday. What's that mean? Guess how much it is to get in. All right. It's pay what you want. You know, there was a show that I missed yesterday that I was pretty pissed about. I really wanted to go to the concert, but because I had the main event, my first show ever, I couldn't go. But 
My Chemical Romance was in Atlanta. And let me tell you, I am furioso about missing that show. Are you a My Chemical Romance fan? I like some old MCR. They're from Newark, New Jersey. I have they are from Newark, are. New Jersey. I don't know if this is true. I used to have a friend named Mark Anthony who was from their hometown. Wait, like he used to, not that Mark Anthony. Oh, damn. I used to have a friend whose name was Mark Anthony. Uh, and he was in the military with me. And he was really, he had a bunch of pictures with him. Like he went to, like he grew up with the guys and said that he was their fucking drummer all through high school and everything like that. And when it came time for him to graduate, his family was like, yo, you you know, being in a band is not a real thing. You know, like you gotta, you have a great fucking scholarship on the table for playing baseball. So he went and he played baseball. You know what I'm saying? And My, my Chemical Romance replaced him as a drummer. And the year that they blew up, he blew his fucking shoulder out. Oh. Fucking, playing baseball Damn and it. ended up fucking and stayed cool with them stayed tight with them in the lab, but ended up fucking getting into the military after that and Damn. I had no idea like like how like what that really meant at the time until like I got out a couple years and then I really was like holy shit like that's that's fucking bananas. That, that band was massive. Yep. That's a crazy story. If that is true <laughs> I remember a crazy story. I Back when they used to have this thing, this big festival in New Jersey called, on the East Coast called Hellfest. And I always wanted to go when I was in high school. I was like, I'm going to Hellfest. That's like when I first saw old My Chemical Romance. They don't even sound like it anymore. Like, good old I like, Hellfest I like, days. I like My Chemical Romance. They're a good fucking band. Yo, if you, if you, uh, we were talking about bands, right? Obviously, we love fucking uh, the real good people at Real Kind Med. So I have a question for you, my friend. Mm -hmm. If you could be in a, in a if you could smoke with any two people dead or alive oh. who would it be yeah it's a good one oh yeah, man it's a good if one. i could smoke with any two people i'm gonna give you my answer just to love you time to think okay my answer is jesus because i got questions okay and rihanna because why? Why not? <laughs> the fuck do you mean? The fuck do you I was mean? so serious. I was like, like why? why? Like, why? I'm like, concerned. Obviously. I'm like, are you fucking crazy? Why wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? I'm sure Jesus would appreciate that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, we out here, you know? Oh, nah, nah. What's my name? Oh, oh man. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I, I, got, I got bad questions. Like, yo, son. You know, like, show me what's up. Like, you know, like. Like, if I'm, if, if it's two people, like, it's got to be someone that I. So, so I don't know. When you smoke, you make that bond. Like there's a lot of people that meet for the first time and you smoke and you're like, you know, anybody you know ever, any questions? That's why I'm saying that's why I'm not going with the obvious. I don't want to go with your obvious like. Bob you know, Marley. Yeah, hot dude. dude. How I smoke? Yeah, yeah, yeah man, dude. Man, dude. man, bro. Yeah, like yeah. no, bro. Like if I'm one, it's gonna be someone that's gonna drop some knowledge. It's gonna drop my money. That's why I said. All right, here you go. No, dead or alive? So dead or alive? That's why I said. Jesus. If it's true, well, just say, <laughs> give me someone. All right, give me someone high up in the government that's got some secrets. That's willing to sit there and they're they're just clocked out. They've retired and they want to unwind. Dead or alive? Who do you got? Who do you? Got? I don't have a name, but I want someone that's gonna um that finally wants to get some. Shit off their years chest. of work off their chest. I mean, Hunter Nixon, who's ag just agitated. Brother, and I, I tell you, sure, something. sure. Right? I just sit there and I'm like, that's what I want. Okay, that's what I want to know. Some shit. Sure, give me a story. Or, or give me something that's gonna intrigue me. Facts. Give me something that's gonna get, keep me interested. I love that. Because brother, I smoke all day every day. I don't yeah. give a shit. I smoke with them all, motherfuckers. Keep me interested, brother. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, okay. And who's your second person, dead or alive? The Joan of Arc. The Joan. Of freaking arc. I love history, and Joan of Arc's it. a fucking badass. She was a badass. She'll fuck you up. Yeah, she. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, Joan of Arc. I don't know. Why not? Okay. <laughs> because why not? Yeah, you're smoking Rihanna. I'm bringing Joan of Arc to the party. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. That's cool. I wonder what Joan of Arc looked like. Probably a probably, babe. Probably fucking. Did you think she was a babe? Probably like Xena the Warrior Princess oh, back, in God, the TV, back on the TV. Back on the TV. That would be lit. She that, had a cool ass. That call. might have been one of my first crushes back in the day. The original Xena, the Lucy Warrior Lawless, Princess. bro. I don't know who was Lucy that. Lawless, bro. I got you, bro. I know this kind of shit. Lucy Lawless with that shit. She had that fucking yell. Yeah, there you go. She had that ring that she used to throw at people. <laughs> sling, sling. And she, yeah, yeah Zena was fucking wild for a while. I remember, I remember Kevin Sorbo and Hercules. Yeah, you know, I was, that's what I was just saying in my head, remember too. Hercules, bro? <laughs> I wonder and like, where Kevin Sorbo is at these days. Kevin I, Sorbo. I see these memories in these, like, in the same vision or, uh, like, 
uh, retro coloring that the TVs facts. had, you know? Facts. Facts. Like, oh, yeah. I, remember. I would love that. No, I would love that. I would. I would like those were good TV times back in the those day. Those were good too. TV times. Good but TV. now I don't I mean I really don't watch much TV unless something is yeah. highly recommended. Yeah. Um they have this gimmick that I want to buy. I've been thinking about it for so long and I see it uh I've seen a few people use it. But you plug it into your uh headphone jack yes. or the USB jack in your on your flight. Yes. And it connects to your Bluetooth headphones, so you ain't gotta fuck with those shitty headphones they give you and you can still watch the movies and listen to whatever on your own. That was, that was fucking that's i mean that's cool. i see two people been, with it right should have been i know i know we should have been had some stuff like that right <laughs> but i've been realizing like, sometimes like i'm uh I'm like i'm gonna download a playlist on the phone it's the same shit and i'm like oh, delta offers so much entertainment on their yeah, flight yeah, and you know what a lot of this stuff is free it, yeah I, it's i'm all very free. proud of them i'm very proud of them they do a good job they do a good job with that i like shout out to people i have delta. a great i'm not gonna say i don't want my scam to be so i have a great delta wi-fi scam we don't do scams. Bro. I know we don't do scams. We don't do scams. Bro, and bro, I can't say what it is, but I'm able to bro, get the rapid premium rapid Wi-Fi, and you know who you are out there for helping me out with this. Thank you. There you go. But yeah, I got someone that takes care of my landing. So you guys, I make sure I stay connected. That's what you need to do. Keep your connections, baby. Yep. Boy, that's what I stay connected. You, you you like fucking good Wi-Fi, baby. You stay connected. That's you know right. what I'm saying. You're that's gonna, right. You're gonna, you're gonna leave me. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Sorry, the mic and the light in my eyes, and you know, being around you, I just feel so starstruck. You had your first main event. Bro, you know what? I want to bring it up. You brought up four times. Of the show, so that means a lot to me. Again. That means a lot because it meant a lot. And for the fifth time, I had my first main event yes, yesterday. You did. Goddamn right, you're and damn it, right. And it, went a, fucking, and it was a banger. Celebrate the small victories, dude. I, I fucking that's that's how you get through. And people listening, celebrate the small victories in your goddamn life because that's you how you get right. through. Because baby. people don't always want to celebrate for you, so you have to. Nah, ain't celebrate no one for celebrating for you, brother. You got it. Damn it. That's right. You got damn right. See, you got to learn to celebrate by yourself. Hell, I'm learning that as we speak. I celebrate. Damn right, you are. Your life is a celebration. In itself if you're alive you're fucking you know what i'm saying you're fucking there you know oh wait 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 whoever that was i like that you see what that says see that on the chat it says carly bravo's already booked for the main event at Z. i know i know I'm you know what off. i hate about today's show we talk so much goddamn wrestling i hate wrestling i'm kidding i love wrestling no but i think we did no we did it was a good amount of wrestling we did we we did wrestle i mean it's part of our lives rick flair's in the house there's it's my dog oh there yeah there's a big Ricky old <clears throat> no, but I, after that, I'm, I've got an impact taping. We're in Nashville, Tennessee this weekend. So if anyone's in the area, and if you're listening later on, you missed the show. But yes, I'm headed to Nashville after the best trivia ever. We've got a weekend ahead. Where are you at this weekend? This weekend, I'm actually in Cincinnati with our boy Crew. You know, Lord and Crew. Going bananas, Lord the fucking bare knuckle berserker. I'm going to hit up OWA. I got a five man ladder match. So I got some dangerous stuff going on. That's in the world. nice. Can you give me my lighter back before you leave? Oh, it was somewhere special if you wanted to Thank get you. it. Yeah. And shout out to Flair who just decided to come hang out. And bring his dog ass down here. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. But hey, we're here. You know, <clears throat> this has been one hell of a fucking go. I'm very proud of us. Round two. How are we going to do this? How are we going to go round three? We got to figure it out because we're live next week, 9 p.m. Eastern, live on Twitch. If you want to come mm -hmm. and hang out live in the chat. Mm -hmm. If not, you can listen to this anywhere and everywhere. YouTube videos. And we got our TikToks and everything else going on. Yes. Our Patreon yes. is rolling. I yes. Think we got to yes. start this. I, I think we start putting together this this big mouth contest or whatever we're yes. going to call we'll it. We'll do the big mouth contest. Because I, I, that's something... That it's been my baby for a little bit, Carl. You've been looking for it. I think the bad taste is the is the outlet. Okay, and I think that's it's what we're gonna platform. do. And we're looking for a star. And if you missed what I said earlier, don't worry because there'll be more of this. Yes, there's always more. We and more games. It. I'm looking. I'm, I don't know. And we're, we got to by next week. We got to get our our PO box going. We got to update all the tiers on the patrons because I'm, by have, next week we need to double our patrons. We're gonna have all the info. We're gonna have every, have it. We're gonna post it everywhere. And we expect you guys to be here checking in our patreons. Subscribe to our Flair. channels we need all the subscription we need all the subscriptions we need you guys locked in with us we need to see how, how bad your taste is that's a good way of saying it we we need our taste buds all you guys in the chat go subscribe right now stop playing with us come on come on in. i'm not listening to a word you're saying rick flair is scooting his backing his ass up to juvenile on dare end yeah yeah shout out to big bangsy boy He's shout out thanks great. to everyone for being here like, uh, yes we thank you Lord, spread the word if you wonder what you can do to help drop in the discord this okay we've got the link too we're we've got we've been posting behind the scenes content in the Patreon, we started yes. that. Hopefully, that loaded for you, Miss yeah. Ann. Only yeah. also won $25 worth of crow today. Yes, which we will be giving away more. So make sure you stay locked in. More see, giveaways. If more, you listen, you get paid. More life, more advice. And and we're, we're, 
my goal is to bring more structure to bad taste, Carly. I've got some ideas. Okay. Bear with me. I've got some ideas. Okay. Well, listen, listen. This has They're been gonna bad see taste. Well. Hey, tell them what We're your name already? is. We're done already? I think so. Oh, man. I think so. What do you say? Fine. I think so. Okay. so. Yeah, you know, let's give the people right, back fine. to their lives. Right, you know, yeah, they've been locked in with the whole Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. All right. So, listen. Just so much fun. This is bad news and tattoos. <laughs> and I'm outlandish Zicky Dice. Sorry, I was laughing. I mean, I, 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 I laugh. Everyone go All laugh right. a little bit. Go and thank you. Fucking go laugh. have fun. We'll see you next week. Terrible taste. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs>